Can anyone tell me what we're doing at the port in winter? Well, I don't know what you're doing here, but we are doing a proper inspection of every ship in our naval fleet. Okay, but why? And also, you guys provide an actual view, so, uh... Well, in order to maintain proper ship maintenance, we do inspections once a year. Alright, but why now? In winter? Because it's Valentine's Day! Uh, yes, it is, and you seem overly excited. <gasps> Valentine's Day! I think I'm failing to put things together here. Valentine's Day is the holiday in which the people of Geekdom celebrate our navy and its wonderful fleet. Thus, it is tradition for us to do our annual inspections of our ships on February 14th. I think you are confusing relationships with actual literal ships. Maybe, but either way, we have lots of kittens! Wait, what? <laughs> ah! Who in Geekdom thought it was a good idea to get Forever Bunny... Cannons! Forever Bunny, please calm down so I can call this meeting to order. Wait, we're having an official meeting out here? Sh shouldn't you recite the oath? But wait, not everyone is here. Where's Mama Cows? I thought we rescued her from the catwalks last week. <sighs> she won't be joining us today. Sadly, her last co-captain fell asleep at the wheel and then abandoned ship, causing the ship to crash and burn. Right now, being at the harbor is too traumatizing for her. And that's not to mention all that time her soul was trapped in the theater, either. Either way, she's not going to be joining us today. Oh, is she alright? Uh, I'm sure she'll be fine. Mama Callis is just taking a much-needed day off. Wait, when's my day off? Oh. Mm, yes, right. Uh, well, I'm not sure exactly when, but it's coming up soon, of course. Don't worry, it'll be... We could have it... Uh, for everybody, could you please proceed with you? Bard should just play a song instead. We're at the sea. I never any time to prepare a song and we're at the sea. This is not a sea. <laughs> now, before we begin inspecting our ships, I would like to remind everyone that this week's event is a training day for any potential dungeon masters. It will be at 8 o'clock p.m. in the Center for Mad Science, room 1118. Please wait for your owl to deliver our weekly newsletter for more details. Anyway, back to our annual ship inspection. <sighs> I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Traffic on the East Australian Current was awful today. Oh, no worries. We understand. I don't. Who even is this? I am the ship captain, Admiral of the Royal Fleet. If you're an admiral, why are you called captain? Ask no questions! Where, where did you come from? Shh, ask no questions. Well, all our ships are back in the harbor just for today. Shall we go visit the flight of the Jerica? Well, this is the Jerica. Ah! Ghosts! I told you it was imprudent to spread false rumors of my death. Well, technically. Don't bother me with technicalities. Wait, Mom? Shadow King, I thought you were in the After Afterlife. Or corrupting the Kingdom of Tumblr. And I thought you were haunting the General of the Duck Army in an effort to cause him to lose his sanity, thus cutting off the head of the snake and crushing the Duck Regime, all the while orchestrating a coup to overthrow the dark faceless overlords of the Before Life, thus freeing humanity from both threats. Maybe you should be more careful about where you get your information from. Anyways... It seems everyone has met the two main members of the Flight of the Jerica, the Fallen Shadow King and the Fallen Shadow Queen. What did I just say? We are dead. Dear! I'm just gonna go sleep in my grave. Well, dear, wait! Their next journey at- Did someone say journey? No. As I was saying, their next... adventure will take them to far unknown lands. However, before they go, they are loading up their final cannons to their ship sometime in April. The official paperwork will be signed, and the Jericho will have some of the most powerful cannons on this side of the sea. No, no, down, for everybody, down. Our next ship is my personal pirate ship, and the flagship of the entire fleet, the Malice Kraken. And this is my Kraken. Hello. Wait, 
Aren't Krakens bad luck? Only if we don't like you. Now, as you may have noticed, our ship doesn't have a reflection. It's not because it's a vampire, don't worry. Our ship reflection somehow made it into this world, and we're currently running from it. And whose fault is that? I believe it was that one dear girl. What was her name again? <gasps> Jubilee! Ah, yes. The Fawn Alchemist Jubilee. I told you to stop picking up every person you see floating on a raft in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, our next adventure takes us to the bright and sandy shores of California. I've made a contract with a giant talking mouse. In exchange for making voices louder and weird noises, he's going to give me treasure. Hopefully enough treasure to keep port. No need to worry, my cephalopod love. With your many arms working on computers, we'll have plenty of treasure. So that's your plan. No, no, of, of course not. I anyway, on to our next ship. And here we have the good ship Hoax, with its two co-captains, Foxy and the Prince. Ah, more ghosts! We prefer unliving persons. Thank you very much. Sorry, wait, did you say Prince? That's right, little piglet. I am the Prince of Princes. But there are no other princes. I'm the only prince in geekdom. You're, You're not, not the, the heir. heir! I said Prince, not heir. Is that so? You don't seem like a prince at all. That's it. I will teach you how to be the princely type. You see, a true prince lives not for himself, but for the happiness of all his subjects. Think of it this way. All of Geekdom is a blooming garden, and you are the sunlight that shines down upon it. Do you see what I mean? Come back again and visit me someday, little rookie, and I will teach you more. Looks like the Shadow Prince has much to learn. And now we have arrived at the SS Innocence, which is a fine ship. A fine, fine ship. Whose ship is this? Mine. No, really, whose ship is this? They weren't joking. This cute ship is made specifically for Forever Bunny and the Shadow Prince. We have cannons! Cannons, I tell you! Aim at the castle, my bunny. And you called it the SS Innocent because... Don't question the names of my ships! Here we have our newest ship, which has just received its first cannons. We call it... L.B. Bardic Journey. Hey, that's my name! Of course. It's your ship. Whoa, cool. Want me to show you how to fire the cannons? No! Yes! Why does every ship here have to have cannons? Nothing sinks ships faster than other ships' cannons. You must be able to return fire should you be shot upon. In the ship's captain's navy, we pride ourselves on having the most cannons of any naval fleet. Also, I've been told that my ships with no cannons are not fit to sail, and I shouldn't force them. And it's the cannons that make it extra fun. But my ship doesn't have cannons, and it doesn't need any. You have a ship with no cannons? Well, she's a submarine, you see, which doesn't actually exist, but still, it lurks beneath the waters of the harbor, and tries to steal cannons off of other ships. You can't sink whatever floats. That's not what we do, but of course we could come back to my place and see for yourself. She's my forever bunny instructor. Anyway, moving on. Finally, we have reached my favorite ship, the SS Cutest Couple. It's a wonderful toy ship with adorable and squeaky cannons. Wait, whose ship is this? Why, our own Madam Lady Doctor President and Mama Cows. They truly are the cutest. What? You chose Mama Cows over me? Madam Lady Doctor President, what about me? I have an entire army, you know. Besides, Mama Cows always sings the most beautiful songs to me. It is great at cuddling. I now call this meeting adjourned. Whether you have a ship in our harbor now, welcome and prosper and believe in the me who believes in you. May the force be ever in your favor, even if it could be dangerous.